Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this angle BAC is uh, 75 degrees and the hypotenuse uh, AC length uh, is uh, 8 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of uh, three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. And here we can see this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees. This angle is uh, 75 degrees in this triangle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be a 15 degrees angle. And now we are going to think outside the box to make our job simple. So therefore, uh, we created uh, another right triangle uh, DBC such that uh, this triangle DBC is congruent to the triangle uh, ABC. And since uh, these two triangles are congruent, so therefore, uh, if this angle is 15 degrees, uh, then this angle has got to be 15 degrees as well. And if this side uh, is uh, 8 uh, units, then this uh, side uh, CD length is going to be 8 uh, as well. And now we are going to look at this uh, bigger uh, triangle uh, a D C. So therefore uh, this whole uh, angle uh, A C D has got to be the sum of these two individual angles. 15 degrees plus 15 degrees uh, is going to give us uh, 30 degrees. So therefore uh, this whole angle turns out to be 30 degrees. So therefore, we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simple once again. So therefore, we have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, AE on this uh, base uh, CD. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AEC. We know this angle is our uh, 90 degrees angle. This uh, is our 30 degrees angle. So therefore, uh, this remaining angle has got to be a 60 degrees uh, angle. So therefore, we can see that this is our 30, 60, 90 special triangle. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, review. So therefore, we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AEC. And we can see this is our uh, special 30, 60, 90 triangle. Since this angle is uh, 30 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, and this angle is 90 degrees. And now we can see 30 degrees is our smallest angle, whereas uh, this angle 90 degrees is our largest angle. So therefore, uh, the side opposite to this uh, smallest angle is going to be our smallest leg. Whereas uh, the side opposite to this uh, largest angle is going to be our longest leg and that is also called the hypotenuse. So therefore in such kind of special 30, 60, 90 triangle, the longest leg is uh, twice the smallest leg. If I assume the smallest leg is 1, then the longest leg has got to be 2 and this uh, third leg has got to be the square root of uh, 3. And in general, if uh, the smallest leg, if I label this one as lowercase a, then the longest leg is going to be 2 times uh, a. And this third leg has got to be a times uh, the square root of 3. And now let's revert our attention back to our this original problem. And here we can see this perpendicular uh, AE as our smallest leg since this is opposite to this uh, 30 degrees angle. Whereas uh, this uh, AC side uh, is going to be our uh, longest leg since this is opposite to our this uh, 90 degrees angle. 
so therefore we could see that this uh, longest leg has got to be twice uh, this uh, smallest leg if this is 8 uh, then this side uh, AE length has got to be 4 units and now let's focus on this uh, big uh, triangle ADC and we could easily calculate the area of the, this triangle uh, ADC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base of this uh, triangle ADC is this side uh, CD which is 8 uh, units whereas the height uh, of this triangle uh, is uh, 4 units so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so the area of this triangle ADC is going to be a half times our base is uh, 8 times our height uh, is 4 units and if we multiply and simplify that is uh, going to give us uh, 16 square units so thus the area of this uh, big triangle ADC turns out to be 16 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, triangle uh, ABC and this uh, other triangle uh, BDC are uh, congruent so therefore uh, the area of this triangle ABC has got to be equal to the area of this uh, triangle uh, DBC in other words the area of the triangle ABC is going to be the half of uh, this uh, big triangle uh, ADC area and we already figured out our triangle ADC area as 16 so therefore we are going to substitute that area 16 uh, over here so therefore uh, the area of this triangle ABC has got to be a half uh, times uh, the ADC area is uh, 16 and if we multiply and simplify that is going to give us uh, 8 uh, square uh, units the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 8 uh, square units in other words the area of this uh, triangle is going to be 8 uh, square uh, units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye